Barbie people, welcome to my bedroom. I didn't know when I woke up this morning that I would be decluttering my closet, but I guess today is the day I've been putting it off for long enough. I've actually decluttered my closet a few times in the past few years, and I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff, or what I thought was a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be ruthless today. I'm normally ruthless, so I will be more than ruthless. What's a synonym for ruthless? <laughs> barbaric, that's a good one. I'm going to be barbaric. <laughs> no, I won't be. If you guys watch my kitchen declutter, you know that I have been watching a lot of decluttering videos, getting very motivated, and trying to get rid of a lot of stuff because I have decision fatigue. That's a big thing when people talk about when they talk about decluttering all of your clothes. And when you wake up in the morning, one of the first things that you have to decide is, what am I gonna wear? I don't even like this outfit. But it's my go-to, it's like my mom uniform, and I kind of just want that in my wardrobe. <laughs> when you guys see my closet, you're gonna know, I don't really have a wardrobe. I just have clothes thrown in there, but most of the time I wear leggings. So I guess, let me just give you a tour of all the before stuff, and we'll get into it. Here it is. Are you ready? Also, there's a lamp down here with clothes thrown on the shade. <laughs> if that doesn't give you a little insight into my life, you're about to get one. Here it is. It goes without saying, but uh, I didn't tidy up before this, okay? Oh, where's the floor? We don't know. I also have a laundry basket full of clothes. But that's stuff that I wear, so we don't have to worry about that. This is a broken ring light. Ask me why I have this. I don't have an answer for you. Look at us, decluttering already. So my dresses are here, ideally. I have like one dress that I wear. My wedding dresses have fallen off of the hook. I have two, but we'll talk about that later. I have a bunch of boxes. Oh my gosh, I actually recently decluttered and this is the bag I wanted to get rid of. There's like 50 items in there. I have, oh, well, let me get rid of that. I have a bin right here just full of clothes that I try on and then I throw there for no good reason. You know, if I don't like it or whatever. So this is a bin full of randomness. This is probably full of, oh gosh, avalanche, full of shorts. Well, this is a skirt. I have about 72 pairs of shorts. Ask me how many shorts I wear. Two, two pairs of shorts. Why do I have 79 pairs of shorts? I don't know, it's a good question. Some of them don't fit me. Some of them are from when I'm, you know, heavier, postpartum, pregnant, whatever. We gotta get rid of a lot of that. To be honest, I don't really know what's in the bottom basket. These are some cardigans, kind of. I also have a pile of cardigans on my bathroom vanity. <laughs> you know what, I think there's bathing suits in here. Last time I decluttered a ton of bathing suits. I don't know what's in that. More randomness. These are supposed to be my tops that I wear, but I don't wear them. <laughs> Underneath the chaos uh, is more chaos and even more chaos. These are like gifts, you know? Oh, what's under this chaos, Kim? You guessed it, more chaos. But wait, there's more. So this is actually the drawer that I access every day. Behold the legging drawer. But really there's only a handful of leggings that I wear. This is like all of my workout clothes, which I live in. This is a drawer full of my unmentionables, which really, I could probably get rid of half of it. Down here, I don't really know what's down here. Oh look, it's me and my mom. And then some random stuff. I could probably not even look at that entire drawer, get rid of it, and feel no remorse. But will I? No, I will look through every item. <laughs> like, do we need this? Come on, Kim. Okay, these drawers. This is full of crap, literal crap. What am I doing hanging on to this? Kim, what is wrong with me? <laughs> An old cheerleading uniform? I always kept this and thought, oh, and my kids, Halloween costume. Who cares? These are, oh, all my race tops from all of the races that I've done. So, but you know what? I never do anything with them and I couldn't care less about them. <laughs> is that a spider? Did you just see a spider too? <laughs> it's not a spider, it's just dirt. And down here are like photos and stuff, so I'm just gonna keep that. So from my understanding, there are a, a couple ways to go about doing all of this. I'm not doing that side, I'm doing this side. Take everything out and then only put back the stuff you wanna keep, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Or I saw a lot of people taking out only the stuff they wanna keep, putting it aside, and then with the rest, just carrying it the crap out of here, you know? I hope I have a lot more stuff than this. <laughs> okay. It's not the clothes so much that's bothering me, it's everything else because my closet is the dumping ground for everything. <laughs> a gator loofah. I don't need it. Bye. Oh my gosh. 
sand art. Oh, I don't wanna. Oh, I forgot about this. Look at this frame, it's so nice. I'm gonna put a picture in this later. <laughs> oh look, this is one of the pairs of shorts that I actually wear. Great. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ugh. Oh boy. Well, at least I can take this out, right? I already feel like I need a break. It's gonna be a long day. You know what gets me through? The thought of how everything will look when it's done. Holding on to that. You know what, this isn't so bad. So now I have all of the clothes out of my closet and as you can tell, the clothes really aren't the main concern here. I just have a lot of stuff. A lot of random stuff. <laughs> okay, the clothing part for me isn't too bad. I'm pretty good at making swift decisions like keep and get rid of. See how easy that is? Let's see if I can do that 700 more times. Keep, get rid of. Just don't even think about it. Get rid of, get rid of, get rid of. Get rid of! Look at that! You know what, it's easy to get rid of clothes when, when they don't look good on you. <laughs> I don't, like some of this stuff I wear and then I think, I don't even like this outfit. Like I like this. I've kept this, oh you guys. I have kept this through like four declutterings with you. Ask me how many times I've worn it. Ask me. Say it. One. Right now. Let me just get it out of my system. Done. I have never reached for it. And I never will again. Ooh, bye. This one I like, but it's see-through, and I just don't like that. This one I like, never wear it. This one I kind of like, but I never wear it. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, again. I like it. Never wear it. All right, one more time. This is why I never wear it. It's not so cute off the hanger. You know, sometimes you would go to the store with your mom, and she'd be like, "Oh, it might look different when it's on you." It always looks better on the hanger. See, got that out of my system. I love zebras, I like the shirt, but I never wear it. Oh, I do wear this, although I do think there's a stain on it. Whatever, I'll keep it. Lots of empty hangers. I do wear this. I got this thrifting, I thought I would never wear it. I wear it all the time. Okay, this is cute. This one's a cute one. This is gonna be hard. It's a bad hairstyle for this video. It's cute, right? The little flutter sleeve, the cute detail, but I never wear it. How cute can a shirt be if it's in your closet 24 seven? So I'm gonna donate it and hopefully someone else brings it outside. This, oh my gosh, this is my favorite. I want this on my walls. I want this in my future nursing home. I want this in a frame. I want this as a bedspread. I want this as curtains. I want this pattern as an apron. Dinner napkins. I love this shirt. Two problems with it. It's see-through, so I have to wear something under it. It's three-quarter length sleeves, so it's hot. That combined with the fact that you guessed it, never wear it. Oh yes, the zebra girl. I'm just a zebra girl. She said, see you later, girl. He wasn't good enough. That's enough. Oh, I love this shirt. I love it. And you know what? I went to wear it the other day, I put it on, and then I said, Meh. and I just feel like clothes should not make you say, Meh. you know? Again, this is something I would like turned into a pillowcase or something, but I just simply never wear it. Let's get one last good look of her. Let's give her a name, freeze this, screenshot it, print it out, frame it. Because this is the last you'll see of her. Unless someone buys it and wears it. Oh, wait, 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 I like this, okay. Okay, I like this, but I never wear it. You sense a theme happening? Oh, well, my Oma made this. You have to rip this from my cold, dead hands. Hanger. Oh, okay, this one's cute. I went to wear this the other day, too. You know how you have that feeling where you wake up and you try stuff on, you're like, ooh, I'm going somewhere without the kids. What should I wear? So I put this on, and I said, this used to be cute. What happened? I don't, maybe it's the knot in the front. It's not so trendy anymore. I don't know. You know what we say. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, we're finally getting into the dresses. I'm actually getting rid of more stuff than I hoped so far. I bought this dress as an option for when we got family photos taken. Let's just put it on, shall we? I feel like I, as soon as I take something off the hanger, in my mind, I just think, throw it that way. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. Is it cute? Can you get a good look about it? Do you like it? Is it like, you know, it's okay. I don't have a lot of dresses. Maybe I'll keep it. <laughs> like, why am I keeping this and not something that I have pure feelings about? I don't know. Something's wrong with me. Ah! 
I can't talk about this one right now. Actually, I have to. I have to talk about it. I got this off Amazon when I thought I was a certain kind of lady. And then I realized I'm not a certain kind of lady. I just feel like the top looks so big on me. What am I doing? Where do I tie this? Oh, over here? Oh, shoot. Okay, so wrap dresses. They're supposed to be flattering on every body type, right? I don't know, there's something about the sleeve, it just makes it look drab. I was a drab little crab once, and I know I can be happy as a clam. I don't know, you guys. I just don't fill it out. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give this to someone who can fill it out. Bing. Oh, keeping this for show. Okay, I never wear this. Never wear it. That's a lie. I wore it three years ago at Disney. Four years ago? Time is a thief. You know, I never wear this either. But should I give it a chance? Because I'm beautiful, baby. Would it be okay to have a maybe pile? Yes. I like that. Oh, I should put sweet Meredith in this. Sweet Meredith. Bum, bum, bum. All right, here's the dilemma about this dress. I bought it in two prints. <laughs> I really like this one, rarely wear it. And I really like the idea of this one. I don't think I've ever worn it. Ha, <laughs> ha. Huh. Should I keep it? Should I not? Should I keep it? Should I not? I'll keep this one. Oh, this is a sad, sad day. A sad day indeed. I love this dress. It holds a lot of memories for me. I love the shape of it. I love the way it makes me look. I love it where it hugs me in all the right places. <laughs> it's flattering, but there's like seven stains on it. And I've tried my darndest to get them out. Oh, it breaks my heart to get rid of you. Oh, and there's a run. Just solidifies my sadness. Farewell, my darling. We had some good times. Bye. Turbo speed. Bye. Oh my gosh, love this dress. It just doesn't fit me. And I've been holding on to it and holding on to it and I've lost some of my baby weight and I try it on, it still doesn't fit me. And then I think, ugh. So do yourself a favor. Don't hold on to stuff that doesn't fit you. It's not good for me. Physically, it's not good for me. Emotionally, it's not good for my closet to have this. You do not fit, goodbye. Find someone, you do fit. Oh, okay, skirts, yes. Never wear it, never wear it. I like that one. Ooh, okay. This is my Sleeping Beauty skirt. Oh, it, you know what? <laughs> I went to wear it one time, and I just can't get it over my hips. My birthing hips. You guys, I love this skirt. I wish there was a zipper or a button, anything. Ugh. It's not so bad. It's like once I have it on, it's nice. I don't know where I think I'm going. To a fancy ball, to find a suitor. What will Miss Whistledown say about me? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it on. All right, let's move along. Oh, this skirt, you guys. The woman I want to be versus the woman I actually am, which is someone who doesn't wear this. Oh, but you know what I do wear? This. And I like it. Doesn't fit. Doesn't look good. Oh, I like that one. Never wear it. Has a hole. Never wear it. Ooh, it wants to stay. You cannot. This one gives me... <gasps> I wonder if I have the picture of me wearing something that looks like this. Let me see if I can find it. Can't find it. This one's okay. This one... Ugh. I like this one, but I think it's just too big on me. What do you think? Oh, my race jacket. I should get rid of this. I'm not going to. Some things are worth keeping, like this. I'm gonna wear this every single Christmas. Never wear this. Never wear this. Never gonna wear it, never gonna wear it. Never gonna wear it. Wait, I know I have two of these. One does not fit me. It's a romper, you guys. I bought two. There should be two. Maybe it's in there. All right, well, this is another one I think has seen its day. Let's take a moment to remember it, shall we? Look how cool this shirt is. It's just dingy and like the back is turning yellow. I like it, but oh, and there's a hole. All right, that's the tall tale sign that it's got to go. Okay, here's another one. You know what? Clothes are so hard to get rid of. I, I, for so many reasons, right? We spend our hard-earned money on them, but I feel like getting rid of something that I've already wasted my money on isn't saving me any money in the moment. It's not. And you can always, if you're trying to get money back, bring it to a consignment store or try to sell it on Marketplace or something. Clothes also hold memories for whatever reason. It's not like, this brings me back to like springtime before I had kids. 
and I just like it. I'm gonna wear it. Also, I did hear that we only wear 20% of our wardrobe. So if I didn't mention in the beginning, that is my goal right now, to just save the 20% of crap that I do wear so that I don't have to sift through the other 80%. Like this. I do like it. It's a nice cardigan. I never pick it up. Let me try it on. I remember I went to wear it one time and then I thought, ugh, doesn't look good. I don't know, it just, there's nothing special about it. It's just a gray cardigan. But watch, next time I go thrifting, I'm gonna look through the cardigans, find a gray one and be like, I need it. <laughs> so I feel like having this in my wardrobe will ensure that I don't buy another one. I also don't really like this shirt, but I kind of like it and I wear it more often than some of the other things that I'm keeping. <laughs> Is this my style? It's a trick question because I don't have a style. Oh, I like this, but I, I never wear it. What's my word? Ruthless? Savage starts with a B. Barbaric. Brutal. This process is brutal. Oh, my Grinch sweater. Keeping it. No questions there. Oh, okay, so this is a nice gray one. All right, I'll keep that one. That one's going. Oh, again. Hello. So oh, this one's nice for a few reasons. Ugh, but also I hate it already. It keeps your neck warm if you live in a climate that is actually cold, which I do not. It's a nice color. It, do you like the shape of it? It like hugs you, right? It's Express, so it's like a quality brand. I never wear it. Talk me out of it. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. I won't, I won't wear it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll miss you. Kind of smells weird. Oh, I love this one when I'm pregnant, but I'm not pregnant. Oh, another Express item. Why? Let's just put it on. Look how cute it is. Who would give this up? Just look at it. Model pose. Vogue. Strike pose. Vogue. Excuse me, my phone is ringing. Hello? Yes, I'm available for a model shoot. Hey, look, Mom, All right. Okay, here's another one that I never wear. The, again, the color is beautiful, just like the last one. This is actually a maternity one. Ooh, look how beautiful the back is, like a peacock. It feels lovely when I wear it. I feel a certain type of way. I feel stylish. I feel profilish. I never wear it. I never wear it. Getting rid of it. What is this? I definitely don't wear this. I feel like if I don't go through piece by piece with you, I'll just keep it all. Oh, a black shirt that I never wear. I wore this sweater in like a Christmas wrap with me. Some of you asked where it's from. I'm gonna get rid of it because, because. Now we're gonna get the pleasure of going through my shorts and you'll see that I'm not lying to you about owning 98 pairs of shorts. Do I like this skirt? I do like it. I don't wear it enough because it's buried under garbage that I also don't wear. <laughs> oh, these are pajama shorts. I would wear these if I could find them. Okay, don't wear those. A swaddle? I should keep that. Oh, shorts are so hard, you guys. I'm gonna put a pile of shorts that I think I might still fit into and then ones that I actually don't fit into get donated. I have a feeling I like these. You know how when you wear some shorts or capris or whatever and they just like get looser throughout the day? That drives me bonkers. There's nothing more than I hate. Those are old. I never wear those. Never wear those. Never wear those. I never wear those. I never wear those. Never wear those. Never wear those. Or these. Or these. Or these. Or those. That was easy. What's this though? I feel like I decluttered this. Is it my color? That's nice. I feel lighter already. Moving on to this basket. Let's see if it'll be just as easy. I do wear these. These are the two shorts that I wear. One, two, nice. I wore this yesterday. Don't know why it's not in my dirty clothes. But I don't necessarily like it, but I kind of like it. I don't like that. Ha! Just drop it, Kim. It's a little big on me. I do like the cut. Just drop it. Okay. I don't really like that either. I don't like that one. Oh wait, or is it this one I don't like? Where'd it go? I guess I'll just get rid of them both. Which one should I keep? Okay, this should be, oh, this is the one. You guys, I told you. Oh, where is it? Here it is. I own this in two different sizes, and I thought one fit me, so I wore it, washed it, and it shrunk. So then I wore the bigger one, and it actually does fit me after it's washed, but I feel bad returning this one because it's not their fault that it doesn't fit me after it's been washed and that it shrunk. So then I kept both. Ask me if I wear either one of them. The answer is no. But I should probably definitely get rid of the one that doesn't fit me. Ooh, leggings. 
more leggings. Remember at the top of the year when I told you I wanted to go thrift store shopping? I still wanna do that. Should I keep a staple maxi skirt? I'll think about it. Definitely keeping this. Oh, my workout leggings. I love these. Kinda shows my panty lines, but I don't care. A good one. Okay, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I don't like this one. Ooh, but PJs. I don't like that. Oh, this is cute. It's kind of boring. I'm not gonna keep it. Ooh, another maxi skirt. I like that. Okay. Here's another one. I've kept this one for years, thinking, look him, it's the perfect blend of, you look like an adult from far away, but then close up. It has personality and pizzazz. Who doesn't love ice creams? I mean, I don't like ice cream. I also never wear this shirt, but I do feel like if I was at a thrift store right now, looking through clothes and I came across this, I would buy it. Let's try it on. It's the only thing we can do. Get it out of our system. It's beautiful, just like your face. All right, that's a Halloween costume. This is a t-shirt that I wear for bed. I guess it's okay. I never wear that. I never wear that. I do like this. Workout. Okay, I'm getting rid of that stupid thing. Oh, keeping this. I made the mistake many, many moons ago to declutter all of my ugly Christmas sweaters before it was cool, and I regret every second of it. That's another thing that people talk a lot about. Get rid of your stuff, you'll never regret it. I regret so many things. So many things I've donated that I regret. This is nice. Oh, my wolf sweaters. I do love a good wolf sweater. I've never worn it. Never, never. I like that. Oh, see, this skirt is cute, but I think it's too tight. This is okay. This has a stain and I've been holding on to it for years. Time to let go, time to cut the cord. Same with that. I do like this, but I think it's missing a button. And you know, you always tell yourself lies like, oh, I'll fix it. No, I'll never fix it. Wait, is it missing a button? Yeah, it's missing a button. It's so pretty though. Maybe I'll fix it. <laughs> One more basket down. Cool. How are you even my friend? I honestly don't even know. But I do feel like now that all the closet clothes have been through, we need to sort through this. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to get. That under the bed storage from Ikea and it stores wrapping paper and stuff like that. So this is what I normally store my stuff in. But every time I need a bag, I have to take it all out. Ask me how annoying that is. Very. I do eventually want to buy that next time I'm at Ikea. I also have a ton of wrapping paper, like a ton of wrapping paper that I don't even use. I'm gonna donate. That's a great idea. I'm gonna do that. Okay, well, I think it's time to fix this. You guys, my wedding dress used to take up so much room in my closet, and then I found that vacuum sealed bag. It has saved so much space. <laughs> the time has come. Forgot this won't fit over my hips. Okay, let's see if, you, if I can give you a good shot of how poofy these are once I introduce the air. Oh, I broke it. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I don't know how to fix it. I think that, I think, I don't know. So the story about the wedding dresses, obviously I had one from my wedding. This little number, can you believe that I'm like just tossing around thousands of dollars? I think about that all the time. I have thousands of dollars in my closet. I also think about that all the time about my wedding rings. Like I'm literally walking around with thousands of dollars. And let's be real, I think this is less than a couple thousand dollars. <laughs> but I do think, gosh, some people are walking around with like $20,000 on their finger. Not me. What if you lose it? All right, let's see. I embarrass myself every time, see if it still fits. Fits over the hips. Oh, it's a great day to be alive. I know the sun's still shining when I close my eyes. I don't think my rib cage is gonna get any smaller. How close are we? Be honest. Centimeter? We can just imagine, right? Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Crisscross. Everybody clap your hands. That's enough. Oh, I'm out of breath. This thing weighs 50 pounds. And this one, where do you keep your wedding dress? So this one is not in a bustle. Oh, did I even explain why I have two dresses? Um, I wore one to prom because, have we met? Oh no, this one doesn't fit either, which makes sense. I was smaller in high school. Uh, come on, suck it in, suck it in, Kim. Ugh. This one any closer? All right, you can kind of get the gist. <gasps> oh, I think I ripped it. I am wasting way too much time on that. Look, I'm a princess, princess Kimberly Whisk. Make way for Kimberly. Whisk. 
Uh, every time I move, I hear it ripping, so that's not a good sign. Can you just imagine how old was I? 17, 16, 17 year old Kim walking into prom. Excuse me, where's my boyfriend? I didn't have one. <laughs> anyway, the details on these dresses, oh, they're gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I spent way too much time on that. Okay, what's in here? Oh, okay. Some Fruit Loop art. And then a whole bunch of stuff from Meredith's birthday party. I'm keeping her, for sure. Okay. <laughs> Is it time for a snack break? Oh, I bought this candle so long ago for as a gift. I never gave it to that person. Maybe I should just keep it. Okay, I gotta be honest with myself. Do I use my water pick? No, I don't. I did for like two months. And then somehow it made it to my closet and I'm not gonna floss my teeth in the closet. So there's that. Okay, hear me out. I know you've seen me declutter this before. <gasps> the honey is spilling. Oh no. So I almost decluttered this tray, this tiered tray. And then it ended up coming in handy for Meredith's birthday party. So I think I'll just keep the tiered tray in my shed and put the honey in my pantry. All of this can be thrown away. Do we need to keep it? Do we need to? Can we get rid of it? Can we get rid of this? Can we get rid of this? Can we get rid of this? We can get rid of this. Remember when I went to the thrift store and thought I was 17 years old and trendy? This, I wanna keep. It's a nice shelf. I'm not gonna use it in this house because we don't have the space. Okay, we do have the space. But I do find that when I have it all set up, it just collects clutter and junk, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna put it in my garage and use it when we move. Don't judge me. Oh look, two more shirts I don't wear. The mother load of plastic bags. I bought these sandals like two years ago. You think I can return them? I've never worn them. You think they're cute? Ooh, ah, somebody. Come on everybody, do the sandal. Ah, ripped it. Now I can really do the sandal. <laughs> All right, I'll keep them. Summertime and the living is easy. That's enough of the show tunes. Don't forget to hydrate purifies the soul. Okay, I have all of this down here, plus all of this. Okay, okay. So I have this breast pump. Uh, oh, my passport! It's a good spot for it. Is it expired yet? Oh yeah, this expired. Here's the thing about the breast pump. Uh, I don't pump. When I have a newborn, I try to, but it's not worth keeping all of this. I could donate this or you know, post in my neighborhood group and see if anyone is in need of one. And I would much rather have someone use it than to have it sit in my closet for 10 years. So I have this jewelry box, but I don't wear jewelry. Oh, it's a hard one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't know what to do with. Oh wait, I, these might be keepsakes. What's in here? Oh my gosh, what is in here? Time to be ruthless. What's the word I said again? Brutal? I don't know, I'm getting rid of this. All right, well this is filled with memories all alone in the mood. This in here. Next year when I need it, I'll probably forget that it's in here. Oh my gosh, these empty boxes that I got from Michael's. Grab boxes. Oh, I don't know what to do with them. You know, the logical choice is to get rid of them. But will I get rid of them? No. No, I won't. I'll just complain about how they're taking out my entire closet. Oh, look! All these gifts buried alive. That beard was not like 10 bucks. Crap. Oh my gosh, you guys, yes! I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Oh Lord. I found some chocolate. Oh yeah. It's about time. Right about now. The Funk Show, brother. Check it out now. So good. This is just the thing I needed to power through. Well, here's the bin of bathing suits and scarves. I should really get rid of these. I literally never wear them, but they're so pretty. Who doesn't like a good scarf? Me. People who live in Florida. That's who. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna... No mercy, right? Say goodbye. I think we can say goodbye to this. So here's a progress shot for you. I mean, it's looking real empty, but you should see the rest of my room. But first, let's acknowledge the fact that you could actually see the floor. Wow. So far, this is everything that I'm keeping, and this is everything that I'm getting rid of, and that. So all in all, I think we're doing pretty well. 
I'm just gonna start getting my clothes back in here. Really? And then I have to go through a couple of my drawers, but I feel like most of that I can get rid of too. Another progress shot in here. So I hung up all of my clothes. What? Can you even believe? That's all of my clothes. I have mixed emotions about this. I've always been someone who's had a ton of clothing. So these are all my dresses and skirts. And these are all my tops and sweaters. What? What? Am I a minimalist? Oh yeah, and these are all of my bottoms, like shorts and I guess I have one pair of capris in there. I just have like gifts in there and keepsakes and then I have purses, mostly that I don't use. I'm sure I'll declutter eventually. That basket's empty and that basket is full of like kid stuff. But look at this floor. Oh, I also threw a load of laundry in so it looks cleaner. <laughs> But make no mistake about it, I still have a lot of work to do. Ooh, I need to hang up those cardigans. And a lot of this is garbage. And I have to put this in a bin to donate. And I have to vacuum my wedding dresses. So there's still a ton that needs to be done. Um, I need to go through this first. Okay, a nursing tank top. I just... Ugh. Nostalgia items are hard to get rid of, so for now I'm keeping that. Oh, same with this. I should get rid of this. Let's just remember it here. A cute little baby cheerleading outfit. It's hard to think of how small I was in high school. I mean, the truth of the matter when it comes to shirts and stuff is like, I don't wear tank tops anymore and look at this, how sad. It broke so I just knotted it instead of buying a new one. You guys. And like, I know some people make quilts out of special shirts that they have. I'm never gonna do that. I'm never gonna do that. This is when I ran a marathon, half marathon. I ran like a 15K distance classic, Gasparilla, 10K, 5K, all of this good stuff. Another half marathon in there. I'm just, oh, this is a t-shirt from a family reunion. I'm just so glad I'm keeping this. <laughs> I have pictures from the family reunion. I have memories. Like it's all yellow, it's all yellow, bye. This is from my elementary school. Does anyone still have anything from their elementary school? I still have all of my insecurities. That's what I have. Also this shirt. I don't know why, but I'm gonna keep it. I'm allowed to keep one thing, okay? Get off my back. So here is what I access every single day of my life. This is where like 90% of my clothes live. Oh gosh! This is the best candle ever made. Mark my words. So I'm just gonna go through this and save everything that I wear and get rid of what I don't or what I don't like anymore. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm trying to like separate them and then in my mind I'm thinking, wow, this is just going to all collapse on top of each other. Like why am I trying to make piles? And then I remembered I got these boxes from Ikea to help separate my clothing. So I'm going to put these together. Yay. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We I'm done living life with the lights out, die with my own doubts. Okay, let's tackle this drawer. Like, this is a cute skirt, but I'm never gonna wear this stuff. This one has a broken button, and I keep thinking, oh yeah, I'll fix it. No, I won't. It's so cute. I love this shirt so much, but I just, I'm not going to fix it. And I can get rid of a lot of these running shorts. They're just uncomfortable on me and I don't like them. Some things I keep and I just think, Kim, why? Get rid of it. Are we going to Chuck E. Cheese anytime soon? Cause I've got some tickets. This lady's missing a few hands. Oh yes. I want you to know. Isn't it ironic? This is the soundtrack of my childhood. Alanis Morissette, Kelly Clarkson, Michael Buble. Oh, some mixed CDs. Panic at the Disco, Tim McGraw. All good. Don't need any of them. Bye.
that how the cool people do it? We'll see if I can actually keep it like that. My guess is no. Here are my unmentionables before. Couple things. I have like two matching pairs of socks. I went on Target.com the other day and I was about to order, <laughs> I'm not even kidding, like five bundles of socks. And then I saw the price of socks. I said, forget it, I'll do my laundry every other day. But I won't. And here is the after. Man, that is so satisfying. Holy crud. I was using these like drawer dividers before and they were okay, but goodness, that looks so much more organized, right? Not looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow, we can't miss out. Can we just take a moment to appreciate all of those empty hangers? What? Let's also appreciate this massive pile of donations. Four garbage bags. And really that Target bag is bigger than a garbage bag, I feel. So that feels really good. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and helping me declutter my clothes. I feel like I decluttered a lot. What would you say? 73%? I don't know. Definitely a lot. I'm feeling good about it. Thank you guys again for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.